Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to part two of our first premium live events, WrestleMania Backlash, and we're kicking things off with Raw Tag Team Championship action, and here we have Alpha Academy. Now, at the start of this season, it was Chad Gable who won that elimination, that battle royale, to earn his team a shot at the Raw Tag Team Championships. And we have Raw Tag Team Championships, The New Day, new ch uh, Champions The New Day. They earned those titles from being drafted over to Monday Night Raw. SmackDown now has RK Bro, which makes them the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. Yeah, Tag Team Champions. Fan favorites here in Chad Gable and Otis. We'll see if Amer Alpha Academy can bring the Academy some gold. But here are the new day. Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods. And also, speaking of New Day, if Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston can win this matchup, and Big E can win his matchup later tonight, then all three members of the New Day would be champions. A championship trio. But let's see if the New Day can beat Alpha Academy here tonight. This is going to be a very good matchup on pay-per-views. Premium live events like these, New Day has excelled. The last time they defended their tag team championships. That was a couple weeks before Cla uh, Clash of Champions, where they beat the team of Rey Mysterio and Dominic Mysterio. As it turns out, guessing that loss sent Dominic Mysterio to join the Judgment Day. So that does not make his father proud. And I'm getting reports that for the both Raw and SmackDown Tag Team Championships, the Raw General Manager will come out and speak on its future. What does that mean? I have no idea what that means. But what I do know is that on Monday Night Raw, the general manager will reveal themselves and also it will be the same on SmackDown the SmackDown general manager revealed themselves there what is going on in the WWE but right now it's all about who will be Raw Tag Team Champions. We have Otis and Xavier Woods starting out. You saw from Monday Night Raw, you saw both of them shake hands, and then you saw Xavier Woods come out with the victory. But look at this headbutt to the back of the skull. And now Kofi getting tagged in, looking for a Big splash connects goes for an early cover here one kick out. Oh This is the big man, but you got to make sure it doesn't take too much damage Oh big block there by Otis and look at this. Oh my god a one-handed spine buster and now he goes tagging the main man Chad Gable the genius with a 4.0 And I look at this off the ropes. Oh, they collided with each other. 
and Kobe Kingston if, takes advantage. Leaping mushroom stomp. Double stomp right into the chest. And now here comes Chad bouncing off the turnbuckle. Oh, fighting back while Xavier Woods delivers a punch. And back into the corner again. And this time the teamwork <clears throat> pays off. Spear into the corner. Big splash. Look at this. Xavier Woods showing off his strength using a belly to belly overhead suplex. Never expect that, but look at this. Big Ansigiri takes down Otis. And into the cover. One, two, no. Xavier Woods springboards into the tornado DDT. Xavier Woods flying around the ring here. And now he goes to tag in Kofi. And Chad makes the tag to Otis. Hot tag applied. Try to take advantage. No. Kofi Kingston Irish ripped into the arm drag. But Otis back to his feet. Oh, takes a punch. Oh, big combination of strikes from Kofi. And a knee to the gut. Irish rip. Oh, they bounce into each other. But look at this. Bear hug applied. That big grizzly bear, Otis applying the bear hug, and oh, Kofi, double elbows to the back, and a bell clap, disorienting his opponent, and a double chop, does he even take his opponent down, big kick, doesn't take his opponent down, oh my god, that running headbutt takes down Kofi, and there goes the military press. And now Otis got a hold of Kofi into his corner. Oh, big elbow. And now Kofi side rushing leg sweep. Oh, try to go out to chat. Look at this. Drop kick connects. Otis couldn't even tell what was coming. And Chad Gable gets tagged in. And now delivering some blows here. Now look at this, butterfly suplex, but he's not finished here, fisherman buster connects, and now Otis now tagged back then, the big tree trunk Otis, one of the strongest people I know, that can perfectly perform a caterpillar, and look at this, Big clubbing strike. And now Chad Gable, the frequent tagging from Otis and Chad, definitely working in the favor of American Alpha, me Alpha Academy. Bam! Takedown by Ch Gable. Gable has won tag team championships before. The only thing he hasn't won yet. Oh no. Trouble in Paris Dice might be it. One. No. Otis breaks it up. It was almost game over for Alpha Academy. But SOS connects. And oh. Otis with the kick breaking it. But now Kofi looking for a big move to finish things off. Ducks it. Super kick by Gable. Ducks the Trouble in Paradise. But Kofi Kingston is still playing offense here. Leaping Mushroom Stomp. And now Xavier Woods finally gets tagged back in. After everything that Kofi has been going through. It's a good thing Kofi is taking that breather. Look at this. Xavier Woods with the springboard tornado DDT again. And now Xavier... Got his opponent into the ropes, into the corner. Oh, and look at this, more assisting from the illegal partner. And into the corner goes Woods. What's he got here? Oh no, he's gonna break the leg. 
of Xavier Woods. Xavier Woods uses his legs and a whole bunch of maneuvers. And now Chad Gable, the technician, working on the limbs of his opponent. Irish rip into the corner. Oh, Chad Gable is out there. Oh! Big kick connects right to the face off the counter. But Chad Gable's not done fighting here. And now Gable got his opponents in his grasp. Into the corner. Tags in Otis. Ducks under. Otis with the drop kick. Otis getting off of his feet here. And a big headbutt. And a stomp. Oh, a stomp to the back. And now Xavier getting hit with a clubbing blow. Look at this. Bounces, throws his opponents to the ropes, goes for the cover, one, and then here comes Kofi with the breakup. It looks like Kofi's about to pay for it. no, big elbow, and now Kofi ex escapes danger, but Xavier Woods isn't really happy about that. Look at this, lifting him up, performing some squats, Otis showing his strength and lands the vertical suplex. And now Gable gets tagged in. And so does Kingston. Oh, try to go for something. Gets blocked. Drop kick right to the face. Now Kofi Kingston climbing to the top rope here. Looking for something big here. Diving leg drop connects. Goes for the cover. One. Two, no, Otis breaks it up. Wonder which one of these two will fall. Big combination gets countered by Gable. Look at this, German's overhead suplex. Gable has a lot of strength that you might not know about it. And look at this, Otis tosses him. Oh, bump into each other. But he's not finished here. He's got him up. Tosses his spine into the turnbuckle. And now Otis. Irish up into the corner. Oh, try to go for something. Kobe Kingston with the elbow. And now the jawbreaker. Kofi Kingston, former... WWE Champion It's good to see that he's Still here in the business And look at this Up up down down connects Big punch no Counter Try to take down Chad Gable But it didn't work But Xavier Woods turns his attention to Otis dropping DDT off the middle rope into the corner. One, two, no, a kick out. Otis and Chad Gable are still surviving here. But you have to wonder what, what moves will be to put this match away. Limit breaker, no. Otis got out the ray and tags in Master Gable. Irish rip into the corner. Now what's this? Oh! Targeting the arm and shoulder of Woods. And oh! Just lets him up before letting him down. Boom! Landing the knee right onto the arm. Oh, but Xavier catches him with that kick. Xavier Woods. Back enough. Looking for something big here. Wheelbarrow face slam connects. And now Xavier Woods looking for the end of the, this matchup. 
Got it. Backwards connects. One, two, no. Chad Gable kicks out of the backwards. And you hear the crowd is loving this matchup. Big into Gary to the back of the head. Xavier Woods not done fighting here. Dragging his opponent. No. Elbows to the midsection. And oh! Cross chop. You can hear the crowd's excitement for this matchup. Elevate and elevate. But Chad Gable looking for something gets countered. And oh! Big form. And I think there's blood on the... F yep. There's blood on the face of Chad Gable. And a stomp to the knee, to the ankle before going for the cover gets broken up by Otis. And now Kofi going to the outside here. Getting the crowd hyped up here. But he also got a big get back inside. But look at this. Chad targeting Xavier Woods. Now they're both on the outside here. Big punches by Gable. And a dragon screw. And oh, face off the, the apron there. And Chad telling his opponent to get up in this ring. But Kofi catches him. Oh, by the uh, the ring area, the ring bell, and oh, there goes Gable back into the ring forcefully by Xavier Woods. And look at this, SOS connects. Could be it. One, two, three, and the New Day have retained their Raw Tag Team Championships. Xavier Woods managed to stop Otis from making the break up. And New Day retains their Raw Tag Team Championships. We could be seeing the same thing that happened last season, this season. Where every time the title is on the line, the New Day will always find a way to win. We just saw the Raw Tag Team Champions keep their titles. But what about the SmackDown Tag Team Championships? And here we have Legato, Del, Fantasma, Cruz, Del Toro, and Joaquin Wild. Now we saw earlier in the night Santos Escobar had won the Inter Continental Championship in a glorious matchup against Res Lee. Now let's see if these two can also bring home gold to the Legados. Cruz del Toro, Joaquin Wild. This isn't their first chance at becoming SmackDown Tag Team Champions. You, if you noticed last season, it was at SummerSlam. Cruz del Toro managed to pick up a victory in an eight man eliminator to determine who will face the then champions New Day for the SmackDown titles at SummerSlam. It was Xavier, it was uh, Cruz del Toro back then known as Raul Mendoza managed to pick up the victory. And then the Legados went on to face the New Day, in which they was unsuccessful in beating them. And here comes the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, not the Raw, because remember, they've been drafted to SmackDown. We have RK Bro. Their story is a lot to talk about. First, we could talk about how 
when they first started the season, they wasn't even the champions. They was facing the Raw Tag Team Champions, the Usos, in which RK Bro managed to pick up the victory. But they will only hold it until the next premium live event, WrestleMania Backlash, where the Usos will win those titles back. And then we get to Extreme Rules. And ever since then, the RK Bro has held the Tag Team Championships. And now I think they're even more combined than ever before. Randy Orton, legendary, Hall of Fame worthy career, and Matt Riddle. <laughs> this match is going to be interesting. You see the SmackDown Tag Team Championships are on the line here. This isn't the first time Randy Orton has held the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. He has held the titles with Bray Wyatt. And the Legados. Looking for a chance to become SmackDown Tag Team Champions. The only team that's in their way is these two. RK Bro. It'd be interesting to see which one of these teams can come out on top. And here's the start of the match. Cruz del Toro, Randy Orton, referee rings the bell. And now we starting off with fists flying. Look at this big clothesline from Randy. And now Randy trying to systematically tear down his opponent. Big stomp after those punches. And now Riddle gets the tag in. Oh, gets countered with the kick. And oh, a standing shooting star. And goes for it again. Riddle getting back to his feet. But it's getting put through the works. But no. Multiple elbows to the midsection. Kick to the gut. Look at this. Gut wrench suplex. But he hangs on. Delivers it again. And that's definitely got to hurt the spine. Oh, trying to go for a move there. But he gets back into the ring and take down. Oh, but look at this. Into the roll up. One. No, a kick out at one. Try to go for something. No, gets countered. And now Riddle. Former Raw Tag Team Champion. Gets his face smashed into the turnbuckle, and now Randy Orton gets the tag in. Wait, hold on. Double super kick. And now Cruz Del Toro makes the tag. Drive up. But no. Joaquin Wild with the reverse DDT. Oh, big kick to the elbow, to the uh, knee. Almost took his leg out. But well, Randy Orton, belly to belly, puts down his opponent. And now Randy dragging his opponent towards his corner. But no, just before it, Joaquin Wong elbows his way out. Big strike combination. Cold Red connects. And shall go for attack. But Randy Orton was quick to get up. 
big clothesline into the corner. Try to make the hot tag, but the knee right onto the top of the head. And look at this DDT plants Orton. Goes for the cover. One, two, kick out. It's an exciting matchup here on the ring. And look at this. It goes for a running sp splash, but Randy Orton got out the way. And then to the corner. Oh, washing his face with the forearm. Oof. Randy Orton is so sadistic sometimes. And to the cover. One. Kick out at one. And tag into Riddle. And now Riddle. Oh my god! A Kamigoi knee sent straight into the dome of Joaquin Wild. And now Wild makes the hot tag to Del Toro. Goes for a jock kick, gets countered. And Randy Orton. No! Cruz is still fighting back. Double kicks. DDT plants him into the cover. One, two, kick out at two. Cruz the Toro shooting star splash. Ran into his feet. And the exploder suplex tosses him across the ring. And now Riddle tagged in meeting Cruz on the outside here. Ochai turns his attention, but Cruz catches him. Now look at that, taking him down onto the outside. Now the uh, padding there. And back into the ring they go. And a springboard into the drop kick. Oh, but look at this. Bro Derek. Into the cover. One, two, kick out. Cruz Del Toro is fighting for his life here. And what's Riddle thinking? Oh, into the turnbuckle. And now Randy Orton tagged in. I'm trying to go for a running elbow drop. Doesn't the connect. And Cruz Del Toro fighting back. And look at Cruz. Oh my god. I don't even know what to call that. Snapmare. Drop kick. And a shooting star splash. But Randy Orton catches him. Tosses him back into the ring. And now Randy climbing to the top. What's he thinking about? Oh, man, just cruise that tour man to avoid it. Drop kick to the back. But Randy Orton takes advantage. Got him up. Smacks his face with the snake eyes on the top turnbuckle. Randy Orton pop up power bomb. And now Riddle gets tagged back in. Tagging back and forth. Is Riddle and Orton one against the Gary connects goes for the cover one two kick out Yeah, the crowd is chanting they're loving this tag team matchup but look at this Riddle looking for it the bro mission applied uh, but Cruz breaks it up into the cover. One, two, and a kick out by Joaquin Wild. Look, oh, try to go for a knee to the skull. 
Joaquin manages to get out the way. Running neck breaker. Turns him around. Look at this. Submission hold applied. Trying to tap him out. No. Randy Orton breaks it up. Strike to the leg. And now Cruz gets tagged in. Riddles with the kip up. Opa falls victim. Fisherman driver plants him into the cover. One. No, Randy Orton breaks it up. What's it gonna take? Running into Gary plants him in the face. One. No, Randy with another breakup. And that's been the story. Each team ever keeps breaking up each other's pins. Brain Buster. And now Riddle turns his attention to Rakeem. And now we begin to count. And Riddle tags in Randy. But here comes Cruz. Gets hit with the loot that is pressed by Randy. And now Cruz is busted open. Riddle gets the tag in. Oh, trying to go for something. RK bro by Riddle. I mean, RK O by Riddle. And you see Joaquin Rob breaks it up. It wasn't enough to put this match away, but here comes Riddle with the springboard kick. And now Randy Orton tagged in. Both of these teams must be exhausted after everything that's happened here. But Randy looking for that vintage. Whoa, bang DDT. Randy Orton feels glad about what he did. Goes for the RKO, but no. Cruz counters it, turns it into a power slam. And now Cruz running into Gary connects. Goes for the cover. One, two, no. Riddle breaks it up. But out goes Riddle. Oh. Knee right onto the arm. And now some face stomps. Shooting star, no. Riddle, Randy got his knees up. And into the drop kick. But look at this. Roll up. One, two, kick out. And now Cruz. Drop kick. And there goes Randy. But Cruz is in position. Looks for it again. That daredevil dive to the outside. And now we're brawling on the outside here. Jawbreaker. And now we got a count of three here. Need to get back into the ring. Four. Randy Orton got his opponent. No! Kick into the gut. And now Cruz. Looking his make his way inside the ring. Oh! Delivers a punch to Riddle. Delivers a second one. Third one knocks him off his feet. Now here comes Randy. Get it at the count of eight. Kick to the gut. DDT connects. And now Cruz tags in Joaquin Wild. Oh, look at this. Wild thing connects. Into the cover. One, two. No, Randy Orton. Just manages to kick out and it's almost frustrating. Oh! Shoulder tackles. Riddle off the top. And now Cruz targeting him. Oh! Tossing him over his head. 
back into the ring this could be the ultimate opportunity to put this match away here for the Legados big strike oh no Randy got the boot up drop kick into the side and now Randy delivering some blows and smacking his face into the mat and now Randy got his arm no stomping on the fingers and hand Randy Orton showing his vicious side here delivering multiple stomps but Cruz I mean, Joaquin gets caught with the RKO one and Cruz breaks it up this match is still going folks who will come out of this match as Raw Tag Team Champions Cruz makes a tag Riddle is now tagged in Oh, gets hit with the farm into the cover. One. Man, Cruz breaks it up. Cruz back to his feet. Gets hit. Gets kicked in the gut. And look at this. Riddle. Combination of strikes. Big kick. And now Riddle looking to put Cruz Del Toro right here. Roundhouse kick. Oh, look at this. Bro mission applied. Oh, he tried to break it up, but Cruz just couldn't hang on. Cruz had to tap out. RK Bro is still your SmackDown Tag Team Champions. So both Tag Team Champions are all the same. As we get to the final match of part two. Stick around ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen it's now time to do our final match of part two and it is for the Women's World Heavyweight Championship. Now how this match came to be last season at SummerSlam Bailey beat Trish Stratus in a one-on-one -on -one match, but after the match, Bailey decided to repeatedly attack the SmackDown general manager. Well, it turns out that in doing that, it angered Trish Stratus to the point where she challenged Bailey to an Extreme Rules match at Evolution, and then in that match. The stipulation was, if Trish won, Bailey would be fired from the WWE. But, if Bailey won, she would earn herself the number one contenders for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Well, it turns out we go to Clash of Champions. It was Liv Morgan who was the SmackDown Women's Champion. But, Bailey got drafted to Raw to where Becky Lynch is the women's world champion so Bailey gets the first shot that's been get old to her and she's not alone here here she is with Dakota Kai and E Yo Sky damage control Bailey brought this group together in order to change the WWE women's division as but you can as you can see EO Sky Dakota Kai former women's tag team champions now that title is those titles are being held by the Spitfire Warriors Kaden Carter and Katana Chance some may speculate that damage control could be the next to face the champions but this is the but Bailey this is her only chance at becoming well the women's world champion 
So she better take, better win this match, because otherwise it's going to be a long time before she can earn herself to be number one contender. And as you can see, the Women's World Championship, that newly created title, no more Raw or SmackDown Women's Championships, no more WWE Championships, no more Universal Championships, those are gone. And here we have Bailey and Becky Lynch, two of the four horsewomen. Becky Lynch won that title at Clash of Champions after beating Bianca Belair. And Bianca will be facing Liv Morgan later tonight. That's going to be the next part, so stick around for that. And now Becky and Bailey go one on one here folks in the final match of part two who will secure the women's world championship and you see bailey starting off strong here dragon script I mean, dragon screw and now she's slamming the back of the head against the mat look at this drop kick to the back bailey becky is not doing so high here oh catches that shots go for an attack but bailey catters and Bailey is taking control here in this early matchup. If she keeps it up, she might be rocking out with the Women's World Championship. Oh, big kick stuns Bailey. And now look at this elbow drop connects. And Becky main evented WrestleMania 35. Bailey has not re main evented any WrestleMania. She's the only one of the four horsewomen to not do so. And look at that leg drop to the arm. Becky softening that arm up for the disarmer. But look at this. Becky, look at the fly drop kick off the top rope to the outside here. Blocks the attack. And no. Oh, big takedown by Bailey. And oh, look at this. Got that clutch in. And yeah, that's the move she used to beat Zia Lee on Monday Night Raw. And oh, takedown. And now, Bailey targeting the legs of Becky. Multiple punches to the knee. We got ourselves a, almost close to a counter here. Need to get back into the ring. Seven. And Bailey gets in. Big slap to Becky Lynch into the cover. I don't think this might be it, but it's just enough to force energy out of Becky. Oh my god! A big kick. And oh, these two run into each other. Nothing connects. But Becky, quick on the advantage. At Beck Splutter suplex. And these two are going back. And fourth here, back targeting the arm of Becky. And now, what's Becky Bailey gonna do? German suplex. German suplex goes into the cover here once more, and a kick out by Becky Lynch. But Becky took to her feet, but gets caught up by Bailey. Oh, trying to go for something. Becky moves out the way, gets hit with a drop kick in the corner. And back targeting the arms of Bailey is Becky Lynch. And look at this, look at this. Big elbow to the back. And Bailey has to roll out. And Bailey, Irish rip it to the corner. Big running knee into the chest. And now Bailey stomping into the corner. Becky Lynch has not had a lot of success in this matchup here. One, two, kick out. And Bailey is getting frustrated. She can't do that. She has to stay calm. Otherwise, she will lose her chance at becoming a champion. The women's world champion. And look at that takedown by Becky. And a kick to the spine. And you see Becky. 
very calm right now. Big elbow drop to the back. And now Becky is looking for something big here to put this match away. No, Bailey with an elbow and a big clothesline. And now Bailey kick. No, Becky counters. Big slap. Irish rip. Duck under. Leapfrog. On drag by Becky. Into the cover. One, no, a kick out at one. And Becky getting a little frustrated. She can't do that. She got to stay calm. Both of these women get frustrated that they're not winning this matchup. And look at that by Becky. Now Becky running the ropes. Looking for the leg drop, but Bailey got out the way. Shargover Sutter gets hit into that short arm clothesline. And now Becky got her opponent. This armor is the move that won her the Raw Women's Championship. Trying to tap out Bailey. But Bailey is still fighting here. She gets out. Big close line. No, gets ducked under. But look at this. Bailey to belly connects into the cover. One, two, kick out by Becky. This match is still going on. But Bailey is looking to put this match away. Kick to the lower back, lower leg. Rose Plant connects into the cover, and this could be it. One, two, no. Becky Lynch still survives. But let's see how long she will. Deep arm drag into the cover. One, two. Kick out by Bailey. And big strike. Another big strike. Becky. Manhandle slam plants Bailey. This could be it. One, two, no. Bailey kicks out. These two are giving it everything they have. And you hear the crowd chanting for them to fight forever. And Becky on top. Drop kick. No. Lands on her back into the cover. One. Two. No. Becky Lynch just manages to kick out. Knee to the back. And now sees Bailey is trying to target the back area. Gets shoved off by Becky. And Dakota bringing a chair, trying to distract Becky Lynch here. Look at this fisherman suplex. And referee wisely takes it out the ring. And look at this drop kick. And now Bailey rolls to the outside. Dakota trying to distract Becky while she's on the top. Becky trying to tell her to get down out her business, and the distraction works. Ba Bailey. Drags out Becky to the outside. But Becky gets her punch countered and slammed on the outside. Becky with a kick to the gut. Another kick. Butterfly suplex maybe? No. Bailey counters. Count of five. Tosses her opponent back into the ring. Bailey. Bailey wants it. Oh, Bailey ran into that. The manhandle slam. This could be it. One, two, three. And Becky Lynch retains her title. This was a back and forth contest. Bailey must have had something planned to try to put this match away, but Becky Lynch catches her. While Bailey was running into the manhandle slam, and Becky Lynch is still your women's world champion. That's the end of part two. We'll see you next time for part three.